Hello, this video is what is in my nursing faculty bag, which is right here. <laughs> I am in my office now at my nursing faculty job at a university, and I thought that this would be kind of fun to show you what I carry in my nursing faculty bag. For those of you that are new here, I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. I'm a doctor of nursing practice, an associate professor, and studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nurses, students, and caregivers on becoming more empowered and resilient. All right, so let's get started. I haven't lately been in the habit of filming, and so I thought while I'm here at the office, that I could show you what's in my nursing faculty bag. Here's also a little tour of my office. Let's see. So <laughs> this is kind of my view from the front door of the office. I have a nice spacious office here and I put a table for students to come and sit. And of course I have it cleaned up here. I have my lunch that I'm working on and I have tissues in case there's tears, which let's face it, in nursing school, there's oftentimes tears. I also have snacks for the students and a nice ambient lighting. Sometimes I have students that come in and I need to proctor their exams if they're doing makeup exams. And so I try to provide a nice little environment for them and a nice little space. Okay, then let's see over here, I have a, <laughs> Keurig and an espresso. Hey, <laughs> you never know what you might need. I also have a little frother, a microwave, and a refrigerator. <laughs> right over here, I have some shelves and some decor, lots of, lots of books, and just other things that I need. Uh, and then over here, I have my desk workstation, and then I have a beautiful view, which I'll show you here. Out my window. Okay, so let's get started with what's in my nursing bag. And I will try to set you up here so that you can see it. Okay, so I had to get a rolling bag because my shoulder bag was absolutely killing me. I also, at one point in time, I had a, a backpack and I would have to carry my backpack and then a bunch of other things with me and that just didn't work out very well. So it has saved me so much by having this rolling bag. I really love it. It works fantastic. There are all kinds of zipper pockets here. So I'll just show you this bag. In general, it has a front pocket and there's everything that's in there. The middle pocket, which holds a lot, these little snaps will undo and the bag will expand further or open up all the way. Actually, right now I don't have that much in my bag <laughs> because I didn't have teaching today. And a lot of times I will add in um, books that I need to carry with me to class and that's what can really make this bag super heavy is having a bunch of books and that's why I'm really happy to have a rolling suitcase. <laughs> All right let me get you set up here again so I can show you everything. All right so I'm just gonna start with what's in the front of the bag and work my way back. All right, so I have this pencil case. This is actually Louis Vuitton, so it's a really nice pencil case <laughs> that I splurged on and kind of show this to you here. I carry this around at home as well, and it just has those little items that I need everywhere I go. So it has my AirPods, a couple of pencils or pens, hair holders. Um, this is a little glasses cleaner. That's really awesome. So let me show it to you. It's called a Peeps and it has these little pinchers and you can pinch and clean your glasses like so. 
both sides and then you can just get the smudges off instead of wiping it on your t-shirt and I do I do wear glasses all the time um, usually I film without them but today it's like who cares I have some lipstick and that's all that's in here right now okay so in here I also have a bunch of tech so I have my um, charger for my laptop which is up on the table back there I do have a Mac at work I have a Dell computer and it is a laptop and I can dock it at a station with a couple monitors here or I can also uh, take it with me but the battery's been kind of funky lately and our IT department hasn't replaced it yet so until I get a new one I'm just carrying around my laptop as well all right so in this front pocket I also have this is a mirror DLP projector. So this thing actually acts as a projector where I could project PowerPoints on a laptop onto a, um, onto a, a wall. <laughs> and basically at my university, a couple years ago, we had a criminal cyber attack and all of our computer systems were down completely. And so all we had was whatever we could carry on us. And so I couldn't even turn on the computers in the room sometimes. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pull up any kind of resources on a computer. And if you've been to nursing school, you know how dependent nursing faculty are on their, uh, on their PowerPoints. And so you know how kind of devastating that would be if your professor didn't have their PowerPoints. So I bought myself a little projector just in case anything is down that I can project <laughs> whatever I need to whenever I need to. It's a nice little backup for myself that makes me feel a whole lot better having it. It's also nice for professional organization meetings because we'll travel around to the different hospitals when we're not in a pandemic. And then a lot of times, depending on which hospital we're at and if we don't have an employee who works at the hospital who can log into the system, then I can use this mini projector um, no matter where we are and have guest speakers, whoever it is, to pull up some items. So let's see, in this pocket, I have some dry erase markers. And so that's always important for the classrooms. We have whiteboards and this way I can write. I, I love to write during my classes up on the whiteboards. So I did have, let's see, I do have an eraser as well. And I was carrying this thing in my bag, which is a whiteboard care cleaner. And it actually exploded in my bag last week and got my laptop and my iPad all wet and so I'm not keeping that in my bag anymore needless to say okay uh, let's see what else I have so a whole bunch of cables and cords for every kind of situation that I could possibly imagine <laughs> um, I don't even know what this is for probably oh so this is a cable to connect to the classroom technology that adapts to my Mac and so just in case a computer's not working, that I have an adapter that I can plug in <laughs> my computer, then backup to the backup would be my little projector in case none of that is working. So as you can see, I need lots of tech backup. This is just the plug for that projector. And then I have another adapter here. Okay, then I also have sticky notes because you never know. Sometimes I'll split up groups amongst the students and I'll write it on a sticky note. I have some feminine supplies in here and that's all in that front pocket. So now in the main pocket, I have some books and this is always where I put the books that I'm currently working with students on and I like to have physical copies of the books even though a lot of the students just have their ebooks. It's handy and these in particular the ANA books and I'll tag them and dog ear and whatever I need to because these books are important. All right. I have a water bottle. This is absolutely essential if you're teaching in the classroom to have water 
every time I've forgotten my water or chapstick, by the way, has been a nightmare. Mm. It's always important to have some water. And we're lucky at my university, we have water stations all over the place. So if I run out of water, I can go to the water station. And I usually always do keep some chapstick in here, or lip gloss. But right now I don't have any, so I need to make sure I put some in there for my next class. Uh, we are wearing masks in the classroom. Um, we don't have social distancing either because they're fairly small classes. Because it's nursing school, I believe everyone is vaccinated because it's a requirement of the school. And then we do wear masks, but if you're the teacher in the front of the classroom, you, as long as you're at least six feet away from the students and uh, you're comfortable with it, you are able to remove your mask for teaching. And that helps with students being able to understand what you're saying, because it's hard to read people's lips behind a mask to understand what they're saying. I do have a face shield for the lab um, to show students when we do PPE and then we put that on. For a while we had to do that anytime we were touching each other. So if we we're taking vital signs or practicing any hands-on skills at all, we had to dress for uh, COVID protection. And so we would have to wear PPE plus a face shield and mask. Um, we're not being that cautious currently. I also have a folder that I always keep and I'll label the name of the class that I'm teaching on the folder. And if I need to print handouts that I will bring these. I don't print out as many handouts as I used to um, prior to COVID because then we were teaching with social distancing and doing a lot of Zoom teaching. And so then I was doing it a little bit differently. But I'll just uh, carry all the paperwork I need for the class. And I do have some other folders. Let's see. Um, so this is another one that I'll use for a class. Right now, um, my teaching load is fairly light. I finished up one of my online courses and then I'm also right now teaching honor students and then a couple groups of honors and then I'm teaching uh, rules class. So anyway, you can see examples. This is when I'm teaching EBP, but I'll divide it by week and then each week of class I'll put the paperwork that I need for those classes. And again, uh, I'll be teaching that in person again. Last time I taught it, it was all online. All right. And I think that's all I have in this main pocket. I usually carry my laptop with me, um, but that's up on my table right now. I carry a lunch and then I'll carry my purse separately. And in the front pocket here, I have a water band. One of the water stations that we have requires a water band, which I haven't even figured out how to work it yet. Always, always have to have a spare clicker. And this one is mine. It's a clicker and it's also a pointer, a laser. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> a laser pointer, and then I can advance through my slides. Generally in the classrooms, they're not working. So as a faculty, I would highly recommend you just have everything that you need to be able to teach and not rely on any kind of classroom technology, because as we all know, there are tech breakdowns, and a lot of times IT is not the most easy to get a hold of when you need it. And my badge in here, I'm not gonna show the front of it. And then have some lotion, which this is also really important. And usually I'll keep this in here and I'll take it out at home. Oops. I have some daisy pins and these are all, so we have 
uh, if you've seen Daisy Awards at your hospitals, you know a lot of nurses will have them all over their badges. So we actually have student Daisy and faculty Daisy here, and I run the program. And so the top 10 nominations for faculty are able to get a pin, and then of course they get the statue and some other benefits when they are the honoree of Daisy. So there's the committees that will vote on the blinded nominations. Um, but Daisy's a really cool program. And so this is for uh, when I have faculty that, and you can see, okay, so this one is actually the DAISY faculty recipient, and then there's DAISY faculty, uh, just get the DAISY. And this is for when I have affiliate faculty that are nominated, and I don't see them every day around here, that I can, when I see them, just whenever I see them, that I have some spare DAISY pins. Here I also have, these are little gifts. These are from Patricia Ray Studios and I will give them away. I do host giveaways in my classes and they're just little stethoscope covers and they're really, really cute. And they have little designs on them. So this is a little stethoscope and like a little EKG one and that you just put it on your stethoscope and they make really cute little gifts. So I got these on Etsy and Patricia Ray Studios gave me a discount because I'm faculty and I continue to order from her for uh, my student giveaways. So there's that. And I just carry a hair thing, which my hair probably needs some attention right now. Um, I always carry that with me. I have another, oh, I just realized I have the wrong name tag with the wrong title. I recently was promoted to associate professor from assistant, and so I have two name badges and one of them has the wrong title. I have another one of these because I always need to clean my glasses. I um, have the highlighter and all these little tag things to tag my books. And then I also have these kind of pens. So these are um, Sharpies and I'll use these for the big post-it notes to put on the classroom walls and we'll be writing out concepts and then we put them, use all four walls in the classroom in order to engage the students better, have them write their ideas in different parts of the wall. I love doing that in my classes as well for different kinds of activities, get students up and moving. I just have a lot of pens in here, red pens, pink black pens and these are Muji. These are nice Muji pens. I used to use these for bullet journaling, but I've moved to Asana recently. I have another video about that, so I'll link it. And I think that's it. It's in this bag. So it's nice to have all my gear that I need when I need it. And I hope you enjoyed this video or that it was fun or helpful to you and let me know if you'd like to see more about being a nursing faculty don't forget to like this video if it was helpful to you do click that subscribe button below and hit the bell for notifications and it'll let you know every time i release a new video which i try to release every week with the exception of last week because i wanted to take a week off what can i say <laughs> all right so I will see you in the next video.